Hello, does anybody have a Toyota Camry out there? This is a 6th gen, but I'm pretty sure it's a similar procedure. But anyways, do you have a Toyota that has water collected in the trunk well down here? Fortunately, there were drain plugs down there and I got the water out. It's like they anticipated it. <laughs> but here's the fix. I'm going to just use this one as an example. More than likely, the water is getting in through the seals on the tail light because we've been getting a lot of rain here lately. And I think the water is coming in through this crack right here this little crevice because when i pulled this tail lamp off i've already cleaned it but there was a bunch of uh evidence of water getting in there there were streak marks so in order to get the tail lamp out what you need to do is disconnect this this is for your running lights and then you're also gonna pull this one just pull the bulb out the socket just rotate that counterclockwise pull that out then there's gonna be three nuts you remove there's three nuts that fasten the tail lamp. One here, one here, and then there's another one. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's down there. You can't really see it that well. But after you take those three nuts out and disconnect the two connectors, then the tail lamp's gonna come out. And also worth mentioning, you wanna pull your wedge stripping back along the trunk edge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, re, I'm gonna apply some sealing on this some weather stripping sealant because there was a bunch of gunk up in here that also will impede water from um <clears throat> what's the <laughs> i can't get my words straight to it. that will impede water from flowing down and draining because it's just going to collect and backed up back up up here as you can see i just peeled this off and i'm going to clean this out real well i cleaned it out with some degreaser i still got to clean that side but just get some paper towels and degreaser and clean that channel out because if this channel is not clean, the water is not going to drain properly. But yeah, so killing two birds with one stone. I'm going to clean my uh, weather stripping back. I'm going to clean behind my weather stripping. And then I'm also going to reapply some sealant there. And I'm also going to seal this up too so that doesn't leak around the tail end.